This short video is about a phonetic character used in IPA transcriptions for the open central vowel A, ah, but not officially included in the IPA. The IPA provides a large number of phonetic characters to transcribe vowels, but it is not hard to notice that the section for the open central vowel A ah, is empty. This poses two problems. For one thing, you can only transcribe this vowel unambiguously if you modify another character with a diacritic. The second problem is that when linguists transcribe this vowel, an unmodified character for a different place of articulation is often used. This introduces ambiguity for both the open central vowel A as well as the other vowels that will be mentioned in this video. Often, the character for the front vowel A is used to transcribe A. So it can be ambiguous if the indicated vowel is front or central. On the other hand, the back vowel A is also noticeably different in pronunciation from the central A. There is also a character for the near open central vowel A which does not capture the full openness of A. To transcribe the vowel unambiguously, it is therefore required to use diacritics to modify a vowel such as A or A or A. Commonly, the diaresis is used on the front vowel A grapheme. This may be because this specific combination is included in Unicode. However, if you want to transcribe a language that uses the German umlaut graphemes for front vowels, this choice may be unintuitive due to the opposing usage of the diacritic in this language. Like the conflicting usage of tonal diacritics in the IPA and Chinese pinyin, you, like me, may choose to avoid this. Also, more importantly, I would argue that phoneticians and phonologists would benefit from a reliable, unmarked base character that is unambiguous for this quite unmarked central vowel position, A. Ah. So, for this, the small capital letter A is used by sonologists in Chinese phonology. And I would argue that it is greatly beneficial for many other languages too, such as for Germanic languages, especially when considering varieties which have the actual front vowel A and distinguish it from open central and back vowels. Possible examples may be Bavarian and Limburgish. Using the small capital A character there is no possibility of confusion with the front vowel A. As a small bonus, you might say that this small capital A follows the pattern of central vowels being indicated with mid-strokes or bars through a character. I hope you found this video informative and that you now consider using this character. Thanks for watching.